are watching Yellow Robot video. Hello, robot fans. Welcome to the Snowy Latvia. Today I will present to you Air Source Heating Pump. It is an engineering marvel and I also consider it a robot. And I will explain in detail how it works and why I, why I think this is a great robot project. So basic idea how it works is by extracting heat from outside air and then transferring it to the refrigerant that is Freo in this case and then uh, getting it inside in the, in the uh, heat exchanger and then in the uh, uh, water circulation system. So uh, even in a day like this when it's below freezing, as you can see, it is, it is minus 7 degrees Celsius uh, below freezing. So, uh, uh, this, this radiator still will, uh, when it will cool down and work and when extracting the air, it will uh, reduce the pressure of the trail so low that it will, uh, it will um, evaporate even at minus 10 degrees Celsius. So basically it will, uh, it will, uh, it will get this radiator minus 10 degrees Celsius. Then the trail will evaporate and uh, it, will, uh, it will extract these 3 degrees uh, Celsius difference and uh, get it inside our heating system. So let's imagine outside temperature below freezing at minus 10 degrees Celsius. DX well reduce pressure of the freon and the temperature to minus 15 degrees Celsius. Then freon pass to the evaporator radiator absorbing heat from outside air and comes out evaporated like a gas with a temperature with minus 11 degrees Celsius. So it absorbed heat. And then it passed to the compressor and the rise its temperature to our desired heating temperature. And uh, then it passed to the heat exchanger that delivers uh, the heat to our water circulation system. And uh, after this, it comes out of the heat exchanger with slightly lower temperature. And uh, oh, so the problem occurs when outside air is moist and close to freezing temperatures. Then uh, uh, ice layer forms around evaporator and uh, no heat is absorbed from outside air. So the TX valve drops the temperature and pressure. It goes to, to the uh, radiator, this freon, and it comes out as it came in. It uh, did not evaporate to gas state and it uh, did not absorb any temperature. So that uh, makes uh, this uh, compressor work much harder. It will produce the higher electricity bill, and uh, but it still will reach the, our heating temperatures and uh, produce uh, heat uh, uh, for uh, water circulation system. Uh, nonetheless, it will not be efficient. So this is why we need defrost mode. It will uh, turn the cycle around using four-way valve and uh, it will extract heat from inside building and deliver it uh, through the compressor to uh, evaporator outside of building where it will uh, bring this uh, heated gas there and it will um, uh, melt the ice from the radiator and of course after melting ice it will uh, reduce temperature of the freon and it will be more in a liquid like state and it will come back inside uh, our uh, building where it uh, will evaporate inside uh, this uh, heat exchanger and will come out again. Of course this should not be done for extended time periods and we should uh, return to heating mode as uh, soon as possible. The problem is that uh, it was it was made by Chinese and uh, I don't know, they probably tested this in some dry desert uh, where there is no moisture in the air. So, but uh, here in the northern part of Europe, we have uh, quite moist air, especially around zero degrees Celsius. That means that uh, it uh, could get uh, ice very fast around this radiator. It will build up thick ice around the air radiator and uh, at the end, uh, no air will get through 
and the compressor will need to work much harder and it will produce much higher electricity bill. So at the end, I had to replace brains of this robot from these Chinese brains to Arduino-based uh, brains that are currently uh, here inside. So as you can see here are uh, Arduino-based brains and uh, if you see here there is uh, our additional sensor robot eye that is watching for eyes to build up. And here we are inside and you can see that we can control and monitor everything with a computer. As always, all source code and blueprints are available in links below. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more robots coming, then visit our website. Thanks for watching.